Hello everybody. Today I want to show you <coughs> one uh, useful program that is uh, free and uh, very nice uh, and uh, can be used to generate uh, plots. It's called uh, GNU plot and uh, here you find uh, the home page of GNU plot www.gnuplot.info but you just uh, type uh, GNU plot uh, in uh, Google and you find it, uh, that uh, gives you a, a very quick uh, illustration of what it does. Uh, it's a program that allows you to draw graph of functions or also surfaces. It can also help you to plot data and is very useful uh, very s rather simple and produces very high quality plots. And uh, a very nice thing is that it can be integrated directly into a C++ program and in the next video we are going to see how you can do it. Okay, but let's first uh, give a very quick quick introduction on GNU plot. You find a full set of documentation on the web and a full set also of demos on the web. We go back, we are going back to what you can find on the web shortly. So uh, once you have installed GNUplot, if you want to try it, you just have to type GNUplot on your terminal. It will open a prompt, a GNUplot prompt, where you can send comments. Our very first nice comment is help. Gnuplot has an extensive help on all commands, so you can say help command to have a, a, a full uh, help system for that command. Um, so, but uh, let's now skip for the moment the help, uh, that is very rather long, and uh, let's try to do our first plot. By default, Gnuplot plots on the terminal. We are going to see very shortly how we can plot on files with different format. Okay, but uh, at the moment, uh, let's just do the very simplest plot with GNU plot. I can say plot, I can give a range of the plot, and I can also use uh, the shortcut pi to indicate pi pi double dot pi, this is the range, and I want to plot sin x. Here it is. You see, this is the graph of sin x. You have a nice terminal where you can do some operation, like for example, show the grid. Okay, but you can also zoom in, you can change uh, the background color, you can uh, output uh, the plot, uh, export the plot in different formats. For instance, um, vector graphic, SVG, or PDF, or even copy to the clipboard, or export it to an image with a, with a different format. But uh, it is very nice to operate also on the terminal and see which type of plots we can have. So we have plot cynix. Uh, by using the arrow you can recall the previous command, and let's say that you want uh, um, to plot uh, this uh, with uh, lines that are thicker. So line width 2 will draw the plot now with a thicker line, line width 2. But uh, let's suppose that you want, you don't want uh, just uh, to plot uh, the, the, uh, the sinus with a line, but you want to have points instead. Mm? So you can say with points And uh, what you have is a plot with points, huh? rather nice. Hmm? Or you can say with lines, and you go back to the original stuff. Hmm? So, but you can also plot more things in a, uh, in, a, in succession. Let's plot uh, sin x with line with line with two, and uh, cos x. with lines, you, you can just say WL, eh? line width 2. 
now what you have is both the sin x and cos x. Maybe you don't like uh, uh, the color, you can change the color with line type. Line type 3, for instance, and now the cosinus has got a nice blue color. Okay? So here you can plot uh, functions, but you can also plot data. So you can load the data uh, from a file. So you suppose you have a solution file with uh, some data. You can do it. Uh, you can plot uh, directly from, uh, from um, the data that is stored in the file. I will not uh, describe it here because I will describe it in the next, uh, in the next video, how to use it. Here I want to show you that, uh, as I said, pl uh, GNU plot has a lot, lot, a lot of possibilities. It can also plot Instagram. It can plot bots plots. Bot plots. Um, it can plot surfaces. But uh, also, you can store your plot directly in a file. For instance, uh, you may want uh, your plot uh, to be stored with uh, the SVG format or JPEG format. Well, what you have to do, you have to change the terminal. Set the term. Set term tells GNU plot the uh, format you want the image. And uh, you see, you have many. You can also plot the, 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 your figure directly in LaTeX. We are going to see it in a moment. Huh? Uh, or using some very important LaTeX packages like, like EEPIC, Extended LaTeX Picture Environment. But let's say that uh, we want uh, a SVG image, or the, if we want an SVG image, you have to, we, you see, is uh, here. Hmm. Okay. You say set term SVG, and it gives you also the option that are the default. Size, the size of the image, the default size, uh, enhance uh, the, the, the uh, font uh, used for all the character, the size of the font, and so on. You can change any of these options with a command. For instance, let's suppose uh, that uh, we want a different size for the font. We want 14. So we say set term SVG, F size 14. OK, now we are printing all the character in size 14. Now we have to tell GNUplot where do we want the output file. Uh, and uh, to do that, we say set output and the name of a file. Let's say a.svg, my picture, or thin.svg, since it is a sinus. And now we want to plot again what we have here. We don't need to recall the plot command because there is a very nice command that is called replot that just redial, redial the plot for us. Now you see nothing has happened because, uh, in fact, uh, a file has created. If you want to be sure that the file has created, within the GNU plot uh, prompt, if you use uh, the exclamation character, you can recall any Unix command. So exclamation character ls is just shows you the files in the directory and you see that we have our scene.svg and uh, now if I want to to see it I need to have uh, uh, anything that can display that type of file and here it is now it, it looks rather strange, but it's not uh, uh, strange because uh, by default the SVG um, pictures are produced without the background, which is very useful because they are transparent with respect to the background. But again, there is an option if you want to add, to add a background of a certain color. But maybe you don't want uh, 
your picture in SVG. You want, uh, you want it uh, uh, as uh, encapsulated PostScript. So you just say set term PostScript. And again, I will give you the default option. And I see that in the default option, I have monochrome. That means that by default, I will give my pictures in black and white, but I don't want that. So I will say color. OK, now it is in color. And again, it will tell me, it tells me the type of font used for the character and so on. Now I change set output Yes, the plot. And now if I use anything that can show a P, uh, APS file, uh, I will see the result. OK. You see, what is very nice of a GNU plot is the quality of the graph it produces. It's very high quality. Moreover, if you use SVG or EPS file, uh, these, uh, it, it will use a vector graphic, so the file is uh, scalable without losing resolution. OK, you see, I've scaled it a lot and I've not lost any resolution and can make it smaller if I want instead of bigger, uh, and I'm not losing resolution. So this file can be then inserted, can be ins uh, can be converted to PostScript if you prefer, with uh, the command uh, PDF to um, PS to PDF, uh, or it can be kept in APS format and inserted in your uh, LaTeX uh, file, no problem. But as I said, the GNU plot is even smarter. It can even give you directly the file in uh, uh, different LaTeX packages. So if I say set output, uh, for instance, LaTeX, it will use just, uh, uh, sorry, set term LaTeX. Set term LaTeX. It will just give you, it will give you the picture directly in the native LaTeX format without any strange package to be inserted. Uh, remember, however, that the native LaTeX uh, format uh, is not very, very powerful, so you can only use it for simple graphics, OK? But for these graphics, I suppose it is OK. And then uh, set output uh, send.tech. Cannot open file, sorry. Uh, dot. Replot. OK. Now, if I look what I have in my directory, I have also this file. I keep doing that. And you see, it is just a set of LaTeX command. Huh? What I can do? Well, uh, I can insert it, it uh, directly inside a LaTeX file, and I will see the picture, OK? So if I do OK, this is just a file. And uh, I just have to say begin document and document. And input. That's it. Save it. Close. Now let's exit uh, at the moment Nuplot. And um, I do LaTeX example. Then uh, DVI PDF if I want to create uh, the PDF file. And uh, if I look what is inside, my PDF. 
PDF file is my plot. Okay? Good. But as I said, there are a lot of terminals that you can use. Uh, some of them uses uh, some uh, more sophisticated... Uh, uh, it, it didn't show the color because I forgot to, to import a use package color that is uh, uh, but you can uh, you can use for instance uh, uh, ps tricks if you you if you know ps tricks so you can do set term ps tricks and then uh, let's uh, uh, say set output uh, b.tech And now let's plot um, again the same as x between minus 1 and 2, just to change. Huh? Now if I look at what is uh, in uh, B.Tech, is uh, a plot of piastric macro. Okay? So if I want now again to insert in my LaTeX file. Well, now I have to include the package in this case. And uh, I don't remember how it was called. <laughs> Sorry. P.Tech. Okay. And again, here it is, my sinus of x between minus 1 and 2. Okay? So you can use it. Uh, uh, for creating pictures to insert into your report or also into your thesis. Uh, and as I told you, this is just a very, 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 very brief introduction. But uh, GNU plot can do a lot of things. And you have an extensive documentation. You have also some books. So here you have the full uh, documentation in PDF. You have also the one written in Japanese, but I don't think is of great interest to you. Um, and uh, you have also a huge set of demos that you can look, okay, with the full instruction of the command you have to use. For instance, uh, if we are using version 5, that is uh, the, the latest version, it's loading the demos, it's taking a while, because unfortunately this, uh, the, the server yeah, yes, the server, the server is a bit slow. Let's go, let's go, oh, here they are, finally. And uh, for instance, uh, you want to plot the vector fields. Well, you go here, and it will give you an example on how to plot the vector fields. I'm sorry, the site, uh, the GNU Plus site today is a little bit slow. It's on SourceForge. And I know the source for just, just uh, change servers. You see, there is an example that uh, uh, with the full command that shows uh, how, what uh, uh, what uh, you have to do. It is very slow because you should. Okay, here is a plot. Huh? So to draw this counter plot. These are the commands that have been used in Segnuplot, so the script. And uh, this is another type of counterplot. And this is another type of counterplot, uh, sorry, with the vector field. You see here the arrow that describes the vector field. Huh? And uh, you can uh, simple function, error bars. Maybe you want error bars. Huh? And again, uh, Sorry about the fact that the site is a bit slow. Uh, you can have a, you can see the example. 
So if you want to make some plots and you don't know how to make them with GNU plot, you can just look at the example and then adapt the script to what you want. And so you just take the script, you change it to what you want. Here you see a curve with some error plot, so with some error plots on top. Okay, this was just to give you a very quick introduction to GNU plot. Uh, I do not pretend now that you are an expert, but uh, I will suggest you to have a look at it uh, and use it. It's a nice program, it's free, it creates very, very good uh, graphics, and the fact that it uses a script, uh, it comes as an advantage, because once you have created the script that creates a certain plot, uh, you can store it in a file, and if you have to remake the plot or to make a similar plot uh, where you just have to change uh, a few things, uh, the data or whatever, uh, you just take that script and just change the few things you have to change. And this uh, eventually, it is much more convenient than uh, the point and click uh, tools uh, that other software offer where every time you have to repeat all the stuff from the scratch. Okay, here you may create your script and then you can just adapt your script for the different plots. Okay, thank you everybody and uh, I will now prepare a different uh, video to um, let you understand how to use uh, GetPot and how to use GNUplot within a C++ program.